Hello everyone, this is my Atari Mega STE and uh, it only has uh, two megabytes of RAM and I thought it would be uh, nice to upgrade it to four megabytes. So here we're going through the uh, memory test to show you what it looked like prior to doing the actual uh, upgrade. And there you go, two megabytes. Just a whole world of, uh, of possibilities. And now I'll show you how what's necessary to upgrade it to four megabytes. Pretty darn easy. So here's the uh, Mega ST on my on my bench. And if you flip it upside down carefully, under the warranty sticker there is a screw. Uh, that requires a flat blade screwdriver. Just uh, loosen off that screw and you'll be able to take the whole hard drive unit out. And uh, here I'll show you in the next clip here. Okay, so I've removed the screw. All I need to do is uh, push back and then push up. And voila, the whole unit comes out. And I just Move it off to the back. I don't even need to, to uh, remove the hard drive. Now looking into the unit, you can see the two SIMs that uh, make up the two megabytes of RAM in my system. And you'll also see that I've upgraded my uh, TOS. And so if you ever want to, those are the two EEPROMs that you need to replace to upgrade yourself to uh, a newer version of TOS. So uh, on the sims there's just two white clips on the side of the rams and uh, that's what's holding them in place. So I'm using some Mac RAM and these ones actually have a parity bit in them as well. Don't need that but it doesn't seem to affect the performance at all. So I've just uh, altered the angle so you can see me put these chips in easier. I uh, wish the Logitech uh, camera would autofocus better. So when you're putting the sims in, make sure that the chips are facing away from you. Now you can't see because you're uh, not looking at my arm, but I actually have a uh, anti-static strap on my arm uh, to ensure that I don't uh, zap the, the memory chips while I am working on this computer. Okay, now that all the memory chips are secured in place, now it's just time to put the, uh, the hard drive back. So I have the hard drive just a little bit forward and then push it back. <laughs> and now just screw in that screw from the bottom and the next step is to do the actual memory test. Okay the moment of truth. Let's uh, turn on that computer and see what the memory test says. Thank you. 
Fantastic, we have four megabytes of RAM. Now we'll just confirm that the uh, rest of the ST works properly uh, by booting up the hard drive and just uh, running my favorite terminal emulation program. Everything appears to be working properly. That's the end of the video.